Hello everyone, today we will discuss about Crafts Inequality. Consider a discrete memoryless source with the source symbols S1, S2, etc, SQ with probability of occurrence P1, P2, etc, PQ and the code word length for the symbols are L1, L2, etc, LQ then the necessary and sufficient condition for the existence of instantaneous code with code word length L1, L2, etc, LQ is that sigma k equal to 1 to q r raised to minus lk less than or equal to 1 where r is the number of symbols in the code alphabet. For binary code words, the Crafts inequality is given by sigma k equal to 1 to q 2 raised to minus lk less than or equal to 1 where lk is the length of kth code word. Consider two code symbols in the code alphabet. Let x be the code alphabet. Then the code symbols are 0 and 1. Crafts inequality assures us the existence of instantaneously decodable code with code word length that satisfies the inequality. But it does not show us how to construct an instantaneous code and does not guarantee that code word satisfying Crafts inequality would be automatically instantaneous. In order to illustrate the importance of Crafts inequality, we will consider an example. Consider a discrete memoryless source with the symbols S1, S2, S3 and S4. Four different coding schemes are used to generate the code word for the given source symbols. So these are the coding schemes. Now evaluate the Crafts inequality for the four coding schemes. So we can see that coding scheme A is a fixed length code word in which each code word has length 2. While in code B, first code word has length 1, second has 2, third has again 2 and fourth has a code, code word length of 3. In coding scheme C, first has a length 1, 2, 3, 3. In, code, in coding scheme D, the first code word has length 1, then 3, 3, 3. So, if you evaluate Crafts inequality, we can see that uh, for coding scheme A, uh, you will get it as 1. So, Crafts inequality is satisfied. For coding scheme B, so sigma k equal to 1 to 4, 2 raised to minus LK, that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8, that is uh, 9 by 8 and it is uh, greater than 1, so we can see that Crafts inequality is not satisfied. In coding scheme C, it is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8, it is again 1, so Crafts inequality is again satisfied. For coding scheme D, it is uh, again, again Crafts inequality is satisfied. So, if you observe these coding schemes, we can see that code A and code D are uniquely decodable. At the same time, they, they satisfy Crafts inequality also. But, but coding scheme B is uh, not satisfying Crafts inequality and it is not a prefix free code. That means it is not a uniquely decodable code. But coding scheme C, even though it satisfies uh, Crafts inequality, it is not uniquely decodable since uh, it is also uh, it is not it is also not a prefix free code so generally we can say that a uniquely decodable code we should satisfy crafts inequality but code satisfying crafts inequality need not be uniquely decodable